Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Our top story this evening, the different strategies when it comes to vaccine rollout. We have team coverage on two counties scrambling to deliver doses. We begin with Andrea Borba in San Francisco. Andrea. Well, Elizabeth and Ken, as of this moment right now, 80,000 health care workers in the city and county of San Francisco have received at least their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. While in total, only 35% of available doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been distributed in California, that is not the case in San Francisco. So there have been no delays in people getting vaccinated at this time. Again, demand for the vaccine far outweighs supply. The city got 6,000 doses in the initial allocation. Other hospitals like UCSF, Sutter, and Kaiser got an additional 30,000 doses. At UCSF, 1,100 healthcare workers a day are getting their dose. Dr. John Joshua Adler once more ASAP. We need to increase the rate at which we are able to deliver vaccine uh, to people. Among those getting first doses, Alejandra Guzman, an ER tech. It does feel a little bit more of, of course, hope and also protection. So, yeah, definitely a smidge of hope. It's not just healthcare workers. By this time tomorrow, all of the residents at Laguna Honda Hospital, like Bernadette Yee and Jasper Harris, will have their first doses. The vaccines come after months of worry and one outbreak the CDC was called in to help control. This is a moment, but it's a real moment of hope for our city. And we should be so proud. I know it's hard right now, but remember, that each one of these people in Laguna Honda being vaccinated is someone who will continue to have birthdays with families and visits with friends. The State Department of Public Health is coordinating the allocation of vaccines, but the doses are coming directly from the manufacturer to hospitals. The next question is how, as we move out of vaccinating healthcare workers, do doses get into the arms of the general public? Vaccines um, will most likely be distributed um, through healthcare providers, um, and we will be doing extensive outreach um, with healthcare providers um, through media. It's a rollout that could involve mass vaccination sites similar to the mass testing setups at places like the Alamany Farmers Market. Now, it was on March 30th of this of 2020 that I was standing in this very location right here outside of Laguna Honda talking about that early outbreak after seeing what had happened already in the state of New York at nursing homes and skilled care facilities. Making sure that these residents got their vaccines here is nothing short of a sense of relief at this point. But of course, a long ways to go with distributing this vaccine, not just to healthcare workers, not to just those inside facilities, but everyone at this point. It is a Herculean effort to make sure that everyone who wants a vaccine gets a dose, two doses, in fact, into their arms. Live outside Laguna Honda tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.